Hey everyone and welcome back. So today actually marks the anniversary of the of the release of Lucio Fulci Zombie. It was here in the States. It was uh, released on July 18th, 1980. So that makes, what, what are we at? 43 years now? Wow. <laughs> now it was released elsewhere uh, a lot earlier actually. It was released, it was first released in Italy back in 1979. And a lot of other countries as well actually didn't get to the States obviously for almost a year later. And of course in Italy it's known as Zombie 2, sort of a uh, Unofficial sequel to Dawn of the Dead, because Dawn of the Dead was released in Italy under the title of Zombie. Although I have to actually double check because I think there's actually like a lot of different stories about that where I think it was actually like its own film, but then at some point, well, they figured like, well, it's a zombie movie, so why don't we just call it Zombie 2? But it wasn't actually originally intended to be that. That I'm not sure. That's definitely something I need to uh, look into as far as getting some more details for. But, but as far as the film itself goes, obviously it has uh, a lot of love from a lot of fans from all over the world no matter what title you know it as and i know for me it's definitely a film that um was as i mentioned many many times before it was one of the ones that was really uh one of the early introductions to me to italian horror films which are among my favorite to this day um i think I've, i know i talk a lot about uh the gates of hell specifically lucio fulci's the gates of hell aka city of the living dead gates of hell Better title, in my opinion. As a kid, when I would go to the video store, I would see that box, you know, that cover for Gates of Hell, and always just wonder, like, what is that film about? And there was a couple of those. It was Gates of Hell, I think it was pretty much like an early, early one. But Zombie was in there as well. But if I remember correctly, I, again, I could be wrong. I don't actually remember because a lot of stuff sort of happened over the course of like a couple months, and I actually don't really remember like what happened first, but I'm pretty sure I saw Zombie first. And then I eventually saw Gates of Hell, and I saw a bunch of other Italian films, like Burial Ground, and then Suspiria eventually, and my love of Italian horror just exploded from there. But the thing about Zombie is, I think the nice thing about Zombie is the fact that in, in many ways it's very accessible, which I think is a nice sort of way to kind of get introduced to Italian horror films in a lot of way. I think cause some of the other ones, they're either too, like, cheesy or over the top, or sometimes they can even be a little bit too confusing. So um, in the case of Zombie, I think it's kind of the one that I kind of feel is in many ways the most accessible if you're not used to watching Italian horror films. And there's a lot to try and grasp as you're watching Italian horror films because obviously most of the time you have a lot of violence, gore, but also the dubbing. I think the dubbing more than anything really throws people off. And I think because I did see a lot of these films so young, like the dubbing was never any like an issue for me. So growing up with them, like even now, like it just doesn't affect me in any way. Although it's a lot of, it is fun to recognize some of the, because they use a lot of the same voice actors for so many films. So it's funny watching like different films and then, you know, you hear a certain voice and be like, oh, there's that guy. You know, I remember he did the voice of that character in that other film and that other film or that woman who did the voice. You know, it's like you, you recognize some of the voices. And of course, the great thing about Zombie is the fact that like it was one of those films that Fulci just kind of went all out with it. And I think he really established himself because even the, the zombies in the film, similar but very much different than any other kind of zombie film. I think the fact that they do, you know, a little bit more grotesque and they're a little bit, you know, they're, they're very, very slow in a very, very creepy way, you know, just the way they they kind of slug around and as soon as they get close to you, of course, then they just sort of attack really fast. And then obviously the over top, uh, you know, gore and everything. I mean, you know, they're just, it's a perfect staple. And I think that was also a nice introduction to his style, which I've always loved, especially when I eventually got to see his films or this one specifically, and obviously the other ones as well, you know, on better formats over the years, not just, you know, a cropped VHS, but, you know, eventually on like, you know, DVD and Blu-ray. And even today, obviously even in 4K, which is still amazing. The, to think that we actually have uh, not just zombie here but also a lot of Fulci films in 4k and of course how many great moments you know do we have the classic moments obviously you know just eye poke and a bunch of other stuff obviously the zombie on the cover and then of course probably the most infamous is you know zombie versus shark you know like I mean that's like cinema history at this point. So I'm definitely planning to watch this tonight as I try and do every year um, on this day in honor of Zombie because the film itself is such a big deal. Um, and just for me personally, because again, it was, like I said, introduction to Italian cinema, but I think in many ways too, it really helped uh, for a lot of people really even introduce them to uh, 
Lucio Fulci and, and I think you know people like myself for example you know saw the film and wanted to seek out more films by him and seek out again more films in Italian cinema and it's one I've just grown up loving so much over the years so I can't wait to re-watch it again so let me know if you have any favorite memories about Zombie and maybe the first time you saw it or if you saw it either in its initial release or if you, like me you kind of saw it like years later on video or maybe you went to a special screening of it if you have any cool collectibles or anything I got I don't have too many zombie things but I one of my favorite things, actually, I do have the original one sheet, which I'm really happy to have. So by all means, share anything you want to in relation to Lucio Fulci's zombie. Definitely want to say happy anniversary to the film. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.